How's it going today, YouTube? Well, had a minute and figured I might try to do a little demonstration slash how-to review video of uh, something you guys have probably never seen before. At least probably didn't, most didn't even know I had. This is my uh, D6 Lesco steam engine. This is a real live working steam engine. I've got it set up here. It's not running or anything yet, but this is a real live working steam engine. Now it's works the same as a big steam engine. You know, you put your water in your boiler and you got it fired down here. And I'll show you guys how to set it all up and get it working. So uh, I'll put this camera here on the tripod and we'll uh, get it going. So uh, stay tuned. Alright, so here's basically what you need to run this little guy. You get your, uh, this is your fire here, you get these little Esbit uh, cooked tablets, these are actually not too bad. Uh, funnel of course here to put your water in your boiler. I would usually fill this thing about three quarters away full and that way you've got something for steam. There's no water in there yet, but I'll uh, do a live demonstration. This is your whistle here. You can see it's a working whistle. And you always want to put a little dab of oil in your gaskets to keep those lubed up. And this is your safety blow off in case you build too much pressure in your boiler. So it's good to just service those once in a while. And of course you want you want to flick your bick there so you can light your light your camp fluid. And this is just uh, this motor, well, like a thin grade, almost like a sewing machine oil. Real thin stuff. You see there's a part number here. I hopefully I can get it in the shot for you. First things first, we'll put some water in it. And we'll put this little funnel here. I, I used to run distilled water, so it's basically you just melt some snow down on the ground, use that, but I don't have any of that, so I'm going to use some water, but I mean, I guess if it's good enough for me to drink, I guess it's good enough to burn your steam engine, I guess, so. We'll just fill this bad boy up a little bit, a little at a time, it takes a minute, but. Uh, it's been a while since I've run this machine, too. It's probably haven't run this since about 2008 or 9. But we'll give her a go here. Just a little out of time. That should be about perfect right there. Take that off the side. Put a little dab of oil on the gaskets here. Want to be very careful not to cross thread these little guys because you will strip out the boiler and then you'll be having to shell out a bunch of cash for another one of these little machines. I don't know what one would, would cost now. Actually, I think I got mine about oh almost 20 years ago now. I got it in about 1997. It's been a great running little machine. I've never had any problems with it. It's just Something to take around with here and there, you know, but it's kind of neat. Okay, next. You want to put your oil away because, well, I'll put it off to the side rather, because I'll show you guys how to oil this up next. Anyway, we're going to start next with getting your little cook tablets out here. And then, if I remember correctly, they used to run one and a half of these little guys, like little, they just like little cubes here. So snap one of those guys off and then I just put her in there like so. And if I remember how to light this correctly, which hopefully I do, is I don't look like a, like a goof on my YouTube video. These things actually don't smell all that bad, so. Okay, and we're cooking. I'll put that away, I'll put this over here. Anyway, we'll uh, get to the oiling part here. We'll uh, maybe bring the camera over here and we'll get a better shot. All right, maybe we'll zoom you guys in here just a little bit. And we'll uh, show you how to oil up my setup here because I've got a few extra little goodies on my machine here. I got the uh, pulley line here and a little drill press and a grind wheel. I've got this little guy too, but he likes to jam up. So I don't really run him so much anymore. So while your uh, steam's cooking up there for your steam engine, you want to put some oil on stuff. So, you know, it doesn't, doesn't have to 
put a big dab, you just put a little drop and you just come in here and put a little drop on this. And of course put a little drop. And that and then you just come in here and you just put a little drop. Put a little drop. These guys just put a little drop. That's it. Oh yeah, don't forget to oil your pulley too. So you see guys, you're going out memory for this. It's been a little while since I've done this, so I mean you can't really hold, hold that against me. So anyway, in about 5-10 uh, minutes you'll have steam up and then we'll see if we can't get her to go. So anyway, we'll uh, shut the camera off here and we'll stay tuned with you. Okay, well we're sizzling here. I think we've got steam up. I'd say so. Give her a little spin here and see what she does. And you can kind of, not really going to grind anything too much, but uh, you know, you kind of grind a popsicle stick or something, but just pop, pop like that a little bit, and there you go. And of course, get going too fast, a little steam off. It will wind up pretty quick, but you know, I try to keep the RPMs down that way you don't get yourself in trouble or anything. So, it's neat, something to play with anyway, but we'll uh, let her go here for a minute or so, still, I guess, and we'll show you how to clean up and put it away. Yeah, it will idle down pretty good. I mean, I could probably get to go a little bit more even. A bit of a little steam off. It does wind up pretty quick. You know, I have a load on it though. I mean, driving the shaft and the drill press and the grinder makes it, makes it work a little bit, but it, it'll idle down nice. Of course, while you're running your machine, you want to keep it on the water in your boiler and watch your fire, of course, depends on how long you want to run it. Usually, if I fill the boiler about three quarters away full like I did, then it will probably still have about a quarter tank left of water left in the boiler by the time that fire goes out. So, no worries there, but you always want to watch because you don't want to blow up your up, up machine. Well, we're running out of steam, boys. Maybe 
maybe not. That's all she wrote. Well, first things first, I do. Put your fire out. Kind of sounds like a birthday cake kind of when you do that. Maybe just slide back in there a minute. The next thing I do, I let the steam off. Okay, now you want to let that cool for a minute or so and uh, you can start cleaning the oil up and all your little drip trays here but you want to let that cool then you want to empty the, all the water in the boiler so that we don't rust it out. But I'm going to go and dump this uh, fire box here in the sink and then we can uh, show you the cleanup project process rather. Alright, well I've got our uh, fire box all washed out. What I do is I just run the tap on cold water and put it underneath it. If there's still a piece of tablet in there, you want to make sure you extinguish that first. You want to run the box under the tap for a couple minutes before you just flush, go flush in that thing down the drain. So, you want to make sure it's out, cool it down first, and then just wipe it down so it doesn't rust. And I just use a plain Jane paper towel here. So, I put that guy back in there. Now, this oil water, oily water kind of stuff, it, it is, it's warm, so... I'm gonna want to use something like uh, I'm gonna try to use my exacto knife here. Kind of just try pushing her down there. And hopefully we're getting the shot all right. I'm not standing in it. Want to wipe that right down. This is you know should do it. Especially if you're gonna put it away in a back in the box like I do. Put it back up on the closet shelf or whatever. You're not gonna show it every day and clean her up and put it away you don't want to be careful when you're doing this of course because things are still pretty hot you know you just want to even though oil won't the oil kind of helps keep your sink from rusting it's kind of nice to keep things clean and whatnot Plus keeps the smell down. You don't want your house to smell like a steam engine. Which I guess if you're a tractor guru like me, you don't really mind. You can't tell anyway, so. Phone's ringing. Alright. That's that part of it. Now all that's left is uh, dump the water out. I'll grab another piece of paper towel here. Cause she is still warm, I don't like burning my hands. Oops. Gonna leave that on that. Then we'll take and dump this out. And uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, well we got the water out of our boiler. I just like to loosely put these guys back in here, then we don't lose them. You're going to want to let your engine cool down, of course, before you go and store any cardboard boxes and that we don't have a mishap. Now, they say you're supposed to be, uh, if you're a young lad, you're supposed to have an adult supervision, but I mean, I'm an adult, a responsible one is questionable, but an adult I am, definitely. So anyway, I guess, I hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed my little video here, and if you like it, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that happy stuff, and we'll, uh, Catch you later.